folks, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, we're gathered here at Elmwood Cemetery. A lot of us have family that is laying here. Thank everybody for coming out. Those that can't make it that we're bringing to you live, thank you for joining with us live. We're gonna be doing a moment of silence at the 11th hour. And um, I was just thinking, I just came back from the United States of America where I was down Las Vegas and you could tell Canadians because Canadians were wearing poppies down there. And it was really neat to uh, say, oh, you're Canadian. And at first they say, why is that? Well, you're wearing a poppy because starting the 1st of November right through to Remembrance Day, uh, the poppy is one of the ways that we indicate and we show our appreciation for those that have done the ultimate sacrifice. But not only that, our current military, our veterans, that still are either in harm's way or are suffering with external or internal injuries. So today is a good day to sit here and spend a moment or two thinking about the people we've lost, thinking about that sacrifice, and probably not being able to wrap our minds around, even though those of us that have served, have served, we still were not a 16 year old or 17 year old child, a soldier on a beach in World War II. That is an incredible thing to try to put our minds around, that that kind of sacrifice, and they did that willingly. But the people in Europe, they understand that. Even the generation, even the kids today, because they lived under tyranny, something we don't understand. Living in North America, they lived under the tyranny of not knowing if somebody was gonna come in their house and take everything they had and kill them. And then came the North Americans, the Canadians, the United States, the English, the Australians. Then came the Allied forces in and saved them. And the people who lived during that cannot ever show the gratification, the appreciation for that, but they've done that by generations of their children, letting them know that people from thousands of miles away across the sea in a nice safe farm field or places in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, the poor Newfoundlanders, they went over there and they sacrificed. So on November 11th, we're taking that time so we can remember it we're broadcasting it live so people can remember it. Time check. I don't want to run. 10.58. I'll get you to do in Flanders Field, a Canadian who wrote this. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, the poppies grow in Flanders fields. Time check. You ready, William? the setting of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
sun and in the morning we will remember them thank you everybody special thanks to miss hirsch for getting william so interested in music and that that he could learn this and play this appreciate it appreciate everybody taking the time to come out today a small and hearty group but uh, a group of remembrance and uh, anybody else has any other words they want to say at all